Hi, welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm not Dylan. And I'm not Cam. This week, Oblivion and Pez of the Grim Tutors will be joining Dylan and Cam to determine which frog commander is best in CEDH. Ribbit. Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cam. This week, we're joined by Oblivion and Pez, the Grim Tutors, to figure out which frog commander is best in CEDH. This video is sponsored by Dragon Shield. Check out the affiliate link down below to help support the show. So we have Oblivion, Anthalia, and the Gitrog Monster Sword Frog Stacks Shenanigans, a stacks deck that can use its commander to sack Protean Hulk. I'm playing Yargil and Multani Tree Frog, a reverse Selvala deck. Pez is on Grawlnock, What Are Frogs, a self mill duck that wins with Hermitruid and Thoracal, and Cam is playing the Gitrog Monster, Collaborative Gitrog Primer, a combo deck that wins with Gitrog, Dakmar Salvage, and a discard outlet. Let's just do it. I'm gonna keep this six. Any pregames? Yes. I have a gemstone caverns as a pregame effect, getting rid of this Rumanop excavator. Drawcard. Verdant catacombs. Jeweled lotus. Crack my verdant catacombs and pass my turn. Drawcard. I'm gonna play this exotic orchard, which thanks to Cam taps for anything. I'll tap it for a green and cast elves of deep shadow. Nice. I'm also gonna cast lotus petal and pass my turn. Drop a drink, the lotus petal. Bark channel pathway. Sorry. Cast spell or still. The Taxian probe oblivion. I'm gonna put my head down here. Oh, I guess you can walk. Camera in the yeah, same room, baby. I was gonna go walk. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna go walk over and look at it. Play this mana crypt. I can cast my commander. Gormak. And then be done. Wow. On your end step, I will cast a vampiric tutor. 38. I think it's just this. Random mystery card goes on the top of my deck, and I'll move to my turn. I'll draw a card. I'll play a forest, and I'll cast a jeweled lotus. I'll play the Gitrog monster. I'll pass the turn. And top up, keep draw. Flagstones of Troke hair. Sword frog. You got extra land drops, right? Yeah, that would be delightful and delicious and lovely if I had another land, but you know what? <laughs> we just vibe. Yeah, the two Gitrog players kept two lands. All right, Dathalia fucks me up greatly. I just want to let you know that. Draw a card. Crystal vein, that'll come in tapped. Tap two here, and I will lose a life going down to 39 and cast Felwar Stone. Pass turn. Untap, upkeep, mana crypt trigger. Odds take damage one, so I'll take three. I'll draw for turn. Move to combat and attack Dylan for three. Yeah, absolutely. I'll take it. Cold knock trigger. So I'll mail a breeding pool, a windswept teeth, and a frogify. Those are permanents. These are all permanents, so they all get exiled with crook counters. I'm going to play this breeding pool tapped, and I'm going to cast frogify on Thalia and the Gitrog monster. I'll be done after that. I'll go to my turn. On my upkeep, the Gitrog monster will trigger. I'll float a green and sack this forest to the Gitrog. So I'll draw a card off of the Gitrog's trigger, and I'm going to let the green fizzle. I'll move to my draw step and get my card for turn. I'll play a Bloodstained Mire. I'll go down to 37 and crack Bloodstained Mire, getting a Gitrog monster trigger before I search my land. I'm gonna buy you cast Putrid Imp. Uh-oh. I will pass the turn. On the end of your turn, cast a Force of Vigor, pitching Ooh. this nature's claim. I would like to blow up Pez's Felwar Stone and Soul Ring. I will move to my turn. Untap up, keep draw. Soul Ring, one birdie boy. Combat, and I will attack Colton with my <laughs> frog. <laughs> Just <laughs> plain frog. I will take one frog of damage. <laughs> That's it for me. I'll pass my turn. Untap, upkeep, draw card. I'm going to play this basic forest. I'm going to tap the crystal vein just for a colorless mana so it stays around. Lose the damage off of the elves. Go to 35. Crack the petal for a six. Cast Yargle and Multani. 18 six is here. That's it. Pass turn. I'm going to untap, upkeep, roll for mana crypt. Odds take damage. I roll to six. I'll draw for turn. Moving to combat and attacking Oblivion for three. Trigger my Grawl Knock and exile Chrome Mox. Basalt Monolith and Intuition. Uh oh. Intuition just goes into the graveyard. Play this when swept teeth. Play Chrome Mox, Pitch, Mist Hollow Griffin. Play my Basalt Monolith. Cast this zero mana Walking Ballista so it'll die. I will then tap Breeding Pool and my Basalt Monolith having two colorless floating and I will brain freeze myself. Ooh, ah. okay. In response, I would like to pay four life to dismember your commander. Nice. <laughs> go down to 33. That's unfortunate, but yeah, my commander will go to the command zone. Four. Just 12 cards. This is a huge play because if Gronok is able to brain freeze this many cards into the graveyard, Gronok's going to see all those. They're all going to have toad triggers. Fro what are they called? Fro they're going to all have crow counters on them. So Cameron dismembering here. 
is kind of like countering a, a two mana ad nauseum that was going to draw 15 cards for just one mana. Which seems pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'll put all those bad boys in the graveyard. Pass my turn. Go to my turn. On my upkeep, the Gitrog monster will trigger and I will make a black mana here before sacrificing my Bayou. And with the Gitrog draw trigger on the stack, I'm going to discard Kozilek to Putrid Imp to shuffle my graveyard back in just to put three more chances of hitting lands into my deck. Love it. Ah, fucking damn it. I shouldn't have done that. Just for the record, there were two lands on top of my deck before I decided to search my library. Oh, look, never look. Here's my Gitrog draw. Well, son of a biscuit. Here's my draw for turn draw. I will play a Blooming Marsh. I'm going to pass the turn because now there's an 18-6 and I should have attacked before, but I didn't. Nice. On the end of your turn, Cameron, I'm just going to fetch and then get a Tropical Island and be done. Untap, draw card, pass. Untap, upkeep. I will cast Vampire Tutor in my upkeep. I'll go to 33 and search my library. Go to my draw. I'm going to go to combat. Colton, I'm going to come at you for 18. That happens. Second main. I sack Crystal Vein for two colorless. And with the green, using one of the colorless, I'm going to cast Life's Legacy. As an additional cost, sacrifice the Yargo and Multani. I would so, so like to respond to that. Oh, no. Do not show me Orcish Bowmaster. Have a colorless floating and flash it an Orcish Bowmaster. Hell oh, yeah. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I mean, honestly, I couldn't script it better myself. I'm, I'm, let me try this fun deck. I'll draw 18 cards. It's so clever and cute and fun. It'll be so good. No fucking Bowmaster. This card is... Fucking nuts. Not only is it tearing up the Pro Tour right now, but it's also fucking up our CDH tables in a good way. The card's good. I like it. It's a powerful, good card. Yeah, great to see it actually do something super impactful here. She's going to get a 1919 now. I have my army. And you have one damage on ETB to shoot somewhere? How big is your imp thing, Cameron? It is a 1 1. It's a perfect little thing to shoot down. Oh, yeah. I'm going to pop it right in his dumb old face. <laughs> Pow, right in the kisser. Life's legacy then on the stack. Is that good? Yep. Yeah. Sweet. I will draw 18 cards. Well, Oblivion's going to have a 1919 orc. Six of it at the OG Fwaug. I will shoot one at your elf. I think it would probably just be best to point 11 at Dylan's face. And I'm going to float a black mana with the elf in response, losing a life, going to 34 and making a black mana. And then, yes, I'll take 11, going to 23. Command tower for turn. I'm going to cast Calling Ritual. In response to Culling Ritual, I would like to use my one colorless and my bird for green. Heroic Intervention. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Do Game you Hexter. control Frogify? No, I, I think Colton controls Frogify. And yeah, it's only in the front comeback. Cool. Awesome. So the frog. Oh, no. <laughs> I got so excited. I punched my camera. Hold on. I'm sorry. So many things just went bad for me in the most horrific way possible right in a row. Not really so many, just two, but they were pretty fucking bad things. Yeah, you cast two really powerful spells and I've never seen them be worse ever. Yeah, they really, Oblivion just completely benefited off of that. Especially I get the frogify off of her commander. Like not only does it not hurt her, but it helps her too. Two from Colton, one for me, and the Frogify, so four total. One green and three black. Cast Necromancy. And I will bring back Yargul Multani. ETB tap. ETB tap because it's a creature. Green mana is going to go away, and I'm going to move to discard. Damn, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in hand. Discarding Grim Monolith, Guy's Cradle, Overrun Tomb, Tarnished Citadel, Swamp, Priest of Titania, Frexing Tower, Cavern of Souls, Nurturing Peatland, Dismember, and Life Death. Untap. Upkeep, draw a card. I'm gonna play this ancient tomb. Ah, oh, it's tapped. Ah, oh, that's not great for me. Cry softly and pass my turn. I'm gonna cry loudly and draw a card. <laughs> <laughs> Real emo frog hours. I'll play a mana confluence. Ooh, that's a super tapped mana confluence. Oh, yeah, it is. you're right. I love how we all forget every single turn. Like, we all know we correct everyone else. But when it's ours, like, nope, that can't apply to me, right? I don't see that. So I still can't do <laughs> shit. Nice. I'll cast the Mox Diamond and it dies. And then I'll pass the turn. Whatever you do, don't ask me why I didn't just cast Mox Diamond discarding the Mana Confluence. Just don't. <laughs> Tap up, keep draw. So first I'm going to move to combat. Smack Dylan with my Orc Army with Thalia. Thalia attack trigger. I will sacrifice this 
flagstones of Trocare to draw a card. I can search my library for a planes card, put it onto the battlefield tap. I have no box, no effects. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna shock in this godless shrine, taking two, so I'm down to 34. Dothy Voidwalker onto the stack. I'm gonna go and get my planes and pass. Yeah, I'm dead, so your turn, Colton. I'll oh, untap, upkeep, draw a card. I'll pay five and cast Seedborn Muse, losing two from Ancient Tomb. It will enter the battlefield tap. I will be done after that. Go to my turn. We both untap. Untap all of my permanents. Lose a life to mana confluence and cast a Grim Tutor. I'm just gonna go get a card and then pass the turn. End of your turn, Cameron. Channel beside you, targeting Basalt Monolith. Goes under Dothy along with the Grim Tutor. Search for a land. Untap, upkeep, okay, drop. I went and got a forest from the Besage. I'm gonna move to combat and I'm gonna swing my orcs at Colton and Thalia Frog at Cam. I have no blocks, I'll take four. I will unfortunately block your orc with my Seedborn Muse to hopefully stay alive for one more turn. Does Seedborn go under Duwathi? Yes, it does. I'm down to 25. Pass on the Thalia trigger, sacrifice my Dothi, get one Seedborn. Untap upkeep, draw a card. I'm going to cast a Phantasmal Image. We'll make a copy of Seedborn Muse since this enters tap, and then pass my turn. All right, I will untap and draw a card. I will pay two mana for a Noose Constrictor. ETP <laughs> tapped, and then I will pass the turn. Untap upkeep, draw. Cast a Linvala Keeper of Silence. In response, I'll discard Life from the Loam to the Noose Constrictor to get it into my graveyard. I'll move to combat and I will attack Cameron with my 1919 Orc Army, Thalia and the Gate Rock Monster, and Seaboard Muse for a total of 25. I am dead. Orcish Bowmaster is good as hell. Like seeing it here, this is a pretty best case scenario for it, but like given a stack deck like this, a huge clock, a way to actually finish the game quickly, especially with Thalia making all creatures come in tapped, it makes it even that much more difficult to block. I really like the include of this in Stack Sex. Yeah, I definitely agree. It's great when you get a big amassed army like that and can deal a ton of damage. And it's also great when you just get small incremental value off of Ristic Studies and Mystic Remoras over the Curse of Torns. Whoa, that sentence <laughs> fell apart, but you all know what I meant. I will go ahead and sacrifice on attack this Godless Shrine to draw a card. Allosaurus Shepherd. Pass my turn. All I gotta say is big money, no way. Me draw a card for turn. Play this gemstone cavern. ETB tapped. Tapped Malevolent Hermit and Sarish. Non tap, upkeep, draw. I will swing at Colton with all of my creatures. Block the Orc Army and the Thalia Frog. I will take seven. Other Thalia. That's it for me. I will draw this card. I mean, I'll play it. I die, but I'll play it. Cast a Planteer of the Orth Neck. I will move to my end step and put an influence counter on it and scry to you. I'll put none of them on top. May I draw a card? Yes, and then take one to the face. Go ahead. On tap up, keep drawing. Play this Vault of Champions. Oh, comes in tapped. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's very cool. Yeah, so let's move to murder. 34. I'm dead. Obliterated. Great game. Oblivion was able to completely control the board by the end of it. We weren't making it. I mean, I was dead before she even really took control, but everyone else really, between the second Thalia then, Linfala, it, was, it became really hard for anyone to do anything. Yeah, she only needed a little bit of damage to be able to deal with the whole board once that Orcish Bowmaster got in the way of your life's legacy. And then from there, it just put everyone else way too far behind. We could not deal with the huge creature. And that's how the story goes. <laughs> I'm not good um, at closing up my thoughts today. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so on Patreon, like our $100 patrons. SoCal Acura, Stormageddon, Cool Bean Man, Luke Cook, Young Mox, AJ Alosebi, Demon of Rosgris, Koaja, A Hamid, Lauren Connell, and Baby G Bus. If you want to pick up any of our merch, you can do that at playtowinmtg.com. Huge shout out to Dragon Shield. Thank you so much for sponsoring the show. Make sure you use our affiliate link down below. If you want to check us out on social media, you can do that TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Deck boxes. Hey, you, go pick up a deck box at playtowinmtg.com. Should we talk about our $50 patrons? We can say them as fast as we can.